behavioral thermoregulation. You do it all the time, and we'll tell you what it means next on today's Creation Moment. And now, here's our Creation Moment host, Ian Taylor. It's a sunny, sweltering summer day, and you're looking for a place to park your car. Since you'll know you'll be gone for several hours, you look for a nice shaded spot so that your car would be more comfortable when you return. Or, it's a blustery winter day with sub-zero temperatures. Well, this time you park your car where there's as much sunlight as possible so that the sunlight streaming through your windows will heat your car's interior while you're gone. What you are doing is practicing what scientists call behavioral thermoregulation. Through experience, we learn how to adjust our parking behavior to fit the climate conditions. But did you know that animals and plants also know how to adjust their bodies to help them stay warm or cool? Insects and reptiles are particularly skilled at this. On a cold day, for example, an insect will adjust its position so that it intercepts as much sunlight as possible. Lizards and snakes bask in the sunlight on cold days and on warm days seek relief in the shade or by burrowing underground. Surprisingly, plants too know just how to adjust their positions. The silk tree, for example, has leaves that it can move in three different positions depending on whether it needs to keep cool or gain heat. Most likely, somebody taught you where to park your car for maximum comfort or you were intelligent enough to figure it out. But it could only have been God who taught the animals and the plants. Visit us online at creationmoments.com to listen to thousands of radio programs just like the one you heard today. Creation Moments, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.